Greetings, Earthman, Origami's Living Soil, servant of the Most High God, servant of a God who just loves us so amazingly. Loves us so much that he put us on a planet that has an ecosystem that just reflects his glory. And part of that glory is the amazing living soil and everything in that soil that help plants grow to their full genetic value as he has designed it. Today we're going to talk about biofertilizer, or in other words, a beneficial bacteria, Fratinia aurantia. And basically what that is, is a bacteria that helps break down potassium. Um, what it does, it produces organic acids and enzymes that help solubilize fixed potassium in soil. Fratinia aurantia effectively mobilizes unavailable potassium ions and make it available to plant root systems. Now, uh, how this works is you put it in your soil uh, and you know apply it to your soil and around your root system and it gets activated and multiplies by the utilization of carbon sources in the soil and carbon source sources that are leaked through the plant's root system that the bacteria use to multiply and to live. Um, uh, you know, potassium, it's a very important part of a plant's growth. It plays a part in photosynthesis. Potassium regulates the opening and closing of stomatas, therefore regulates CO2 uptake. Uh, potassium also triggers and activates enzymes that are essential for production of the ADP, which is an important energy source for many chemical processes that take place in plant tissue. Potassium is also plays a major role in the regulation of water, um, uh, osmosis regulation, I guess you can say, and both uptake of water through the plant root, root system and the loss of water through the stomatas is affected by the potassium. Also plays a part in protein and starch synthesis in a plant. Um, which is a very important part of the plant's growth. Uh, it also helps activate uh, different enzymes in a plant's growth um, cycle. Um, and there's different things you can tell if you have a potassium uh, deficiency, such as uh, defolization. Um, in other words, if left unattended, potassium deficiencies in a plant result in the plants losing their leaves sooner than they should. This process may become faster as the plant might be exposed to drought or high temperatures and therefore the leaves turn yellow and then brown and eventually fall off. Some other uh, deficiencies of, you know, for the, uh, you know potassium uh, deficiencies are uh, poor resistance to pests, weak and unhealthy root systems, and uneven ripening of different types of fruits. Now the Fratinia, Fratia, Orantia bacteria is uh, obtainable on the market. Um, and I get mine through um, a company called uh, AgriLife USA. I have a link to it in the last video I did on a potass or um, phosphorus mobilizer. And so, um, yep, uh, biofertilizers or beneficial bacteria are very important in a plant's growth. Um, you need bacteria, you need living soil, because that's just the way God made it. Plants and bacteria coexisting, and um, they help each other out. And so, that's pretty much it. Once again, the bacteria is called Fratinia aurantia, and I could be pronouncing that wrong, but uh, the spelling will be in the description and in the title. You have a blessed day. I hope God is blessing you and your family and your plants. And uh, remember, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. And uh, you just have to um, acknowledge it. Just acknowledge that God loves you. And you can do that by just looking around at the perfect world he has created for you. It did not happen on accident. Everything is done purposely by design. May God bless you and your family. Oh, here's the bacteria right here. Um, it comes in a talc form carrier. And, um, yeah, there you go. May God bless you and your family, and uh, have a great day.